Buffalo. I don't know about you, but this weekend was marvelous, and I started to work a little on my garden. Did you? No. Uh, <laughs> I know there were people out there who did. I saw mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. You know, there were people mm -hmm. all over. A lot just of people out. did. Yes. Oh, Paula did. Yep, our producer did. Yes. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> I'm, I don't know about you, but it's really tricky because, you know, with the weather that we have, mm -hmm. it's very tricky to know when it is too early yeah. to start working on flower beds or garden vegetable beds, right? Yep. And that's why we decided to check in with our friends over at Lava Cuts to find out what the experts have to say about this week's Green Thumb Moment. Ashley Best, thank you so much for being on AM Buffalo. Ashley is a landscape designer and the nursery manager here at Lava Cuts. You are going to walk us through the garden bed and why it's never too early to start doing a little bit of work, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so obviously we've moved a little bit past the full on winter season and we're starting to see a little bit of grass. What would you say folks can start doing now? Well, it's always good just to make sure that your tools are cleaned off and ready to go for the season. Clean out that garden shed, okay. um, get organized. Smart. Um, and then planning. Um, after that, I mean, as long as the ground is soft, um, you can start edging beds, pulling weeds, um, getting ready. All the stuff people really love to do. Yeah, the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but really, you can't get into the fun, fun stuff until you get that stuff out of the way, correct? Yeah, you really don't want those weeds to go to seed. How important is the prep? Uh, it's pretty important. Um, you know, if your beds aren't ready, you're not going to be able to be planting anything, anything new, anything exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you want those weeds out, you want your beds mulched, you want your soil to be really nutrient rich. Yeah. Um, so adding compost and mulching your beds early to keep that moisture in while it's here yeah. is still a good plan. As a landscape designer, when you're planning out your garden beds, and that can be pretty much any space that you have, right? Yeah. On your property, what do you say is the best place to start? I like to start in the front yard just for curb appeal, yeah. um, but it really depends what your space is like. Mm -hmm. And do you think that if a person hasn't done this before, that there is a good place to start when, it's, when it comes to getting your hands dirty? Let's say you've got all your tools ready, let's say you've got a plan in place, but when you're starting to actually work in the ground, what would be the best? Getting those weeds up? Um, I think, yeah, getting your weeds out of there and then making sure that your soil is nutrient rich is super important. Um, you want to give your plants a good foundation to begin with. Okay. So adding compost in. Compost. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So you can buy that or you can have your own compost? I Absolutely. That's a big conversation with a lot of folks who love to garden. Do you have your own compost or do you buy it? What would you say? So I, I do have a composter at home. I love, you know, taking my food scraps and reusing that. Yeah. Um, but it's easy to buy as well. Um, we carry three different varieties here in bags. So um, either whatever works for whatever works for you. And is there a different kind of compost that you would use for, say, your vegetable plants as compared to your garden where there's just flowers? Yeah, it does change a bit. Um, you know, different, some of them have more acidity. Um, I personally like to use more of a leaf compost because it's a pretty level one. You can really use it for anything. Um, but if you're gonna use something like composted manure, that's really great for plants that like acidity and vegetable gardens as well. Okay. So you can either do uh, fall cleanup mm -hmm. where you cut it back earlier on, but as you can see, we did not do that out here. Um, so you make me feel good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> My house looks a little bit like this too. Um, but yeah, it's at this point in the year, you can definitely cut a lot of this back right down to the ground. Mm -hmm. um, as long as it's a perennial, um, I wouldn't go cutting back anything that's gonna be a spring flowering thing, none of your lilacs or forsythias or anything like that. But all all of this stuff you can cut right down to the ground now. And how can you tell if it's something you should be cutting back and not cutting back? You can ask us. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's really the trick because the thing is, you can always take a picture of what you have and say, mm -hmm. I'm really not sure about this, or this looks new, or is this a weed? And you can really come in and just ask the professionals, right? Yeah, we get calls and people stopping in all the time. And I'd say it's always better to ask. It is always better to ask because I have killed many a bush or a shrub. So if people wanted to ask these questions, where can they find you? 8441 County Road. Really great information. And again, don't be afraid to ask. Thank you so much, Ashley. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. The nursery is on County Road in East Amherst, so that's where you ask your questions. And next week we tackle flower beds. Is yes. it too early to start?